It's the final day of the 12 days of Zebra BI report makeover. Oh. Oh. But let's end it on a high note as we take a look at an HR dashboard in Power BI. Now, for the first thing that greets us is a plain data table. And inside of it, we can see we have data for actuals previous year, all broken down by quarters. And now I must say, this is a pretty interesting way of showing our main KPIs. And I think that someone from the Plain Table Visualization Society must have paid someone a lot of money. On our dashboards, we usually strive to have our main KPIs most prominently presented, usually on the top left of our dashboards. They should also have all the context and data to help us instantly understand if we're doing better or worse. And in this data table, all of this data is actually here. However, can we really tell, are we doing better or worse? And looking at the data, we can see it's broken up into quarters, but personally, I think I would need some help from a visualization and definitely some variances to be able to tell if we're doing better and what our trends are. Underneath, we have two line charts showing our hire rate and termination rate. And I think these two could also be thought of as part of our main KPIs. And I think it would make the most sense to visualize them together with the KPIs from our main table with Zebra BI cards. Zebra BI cards will allow us to prominently display our main KPIs and add to them the context needed because of the automatically created and visualized variances, graphical representation of our trends, and the standardized uniform look. They will also allow us to scale different KPIs in groups so we can get a better understanding of them and the relationships between them. Now that we have visualized our KPIs, it's time to talk about visualization placements on our dashboard. So one thing we want is to have our main KPIs proudly presented on the top of our dashboard and then underneath have visualizations that allow us to deep dive into the data presented by the KPIs. To do this or to achieve this on this dashboard, I would change the location of the top pie chart and move it down and then stretch our KPIs through the top of our dashboard. Now we have four visualizations giving us an in-depth look into our workforce by education, employment type and two types of satisfaction. We can see we have some added context for our education and we would like to add this context also to all the other categories and visualizations. However, pie charts are not really the best for showing this as they offer pretty limited data density. So what I would do or what I would propose we do is visualize all this data with Zebra BI tables. The structure charts created with Zebra BI will also allow us to show more data and more insights on the same space that we were using before. We will also be able to visualize the variances between our actuals and previous year, allowing us to understand how our workforce has developed and answer questions like, is our workforce even more satisfied than it was before? So looking at the new dashboard, I feel like it's important to stress the importance of standardization in data visualization that you use across your reporting. Using strong saturated colors only for variances and only when they really hold extra meaning means that your reports will be clear and will be able to communicate the story behind your data effectively. With Zebra BI, following these guidelines proposed by the International Business Communication Standards can be pretty easy and it can also have great positive effects on the clarity and engagement of your reports. Now start your journey today and download the template from the description below. Thank you for joining me on this 12-day journey of education, improvement and a lot, a lot of fun. Thank you for watching the 12 days of Zebra BI report makeovers and if you missed a day don't worry because they will be neatly tucked in a playlist that you can find on YouTube to check out at any time. Like, subscribe and stay great.